Hey there, it's Chris Walker here, co-founder of Truth Nutraceuticals. Today I want to talk to you about how to stop blood sugar crashes, how to improve your insulin sensitivity so you can stop going through the constant ups and downs of blood sugar crashes due to uh, eating. So, you know, we've all been there basically at the point where you eat a big meal or you eat a, a carb heavy meal and your blood sugar starts to spike and then it shortly thereafter will crash and then you get this false hunger. You feel like you have to eat again to bring that blood sugar back up. And then you're caught in this never ending cycle of the ups and downs of blood sugar. So the best way to actually improve this is to improve your insulin sensitivity, which is basically your body's ability to handle these insulin spikes. And there are a couple ways, uh, we're going to talk about four in particular here today, that you can do this efficiently, uh, quickly, and affordably. All right, now the first way to help improve your insulin sensitivity and stop the blood sugar crashes is to start with fasting. So uh, fasting has become a bit more popular, and for good reason, it's because it actually works. So when you do short fast, short-term fasts uh, could be anywhere from 14 hours to 24 hours, uh, these fasts are going to help improve your insulin sensitivity. And over time, you start to feel like you are much more in control of uh, your blood sugar. And, and you'll actually get to the point where you, during the fast, you are not hungry at all. And you start to crave very healthy natural foods instead of craving high sugar, uh, more processed junk food like a lot of people typically crave on the standard American diet. Now, second up on the list uh, is to avoid polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now this uh, might be something that you haven't heard about before, but there's research showing that trans fats and polyunsaturated fats, or PUFAs, will increase insulin resistance. And you see it in a lot of diabetics, type 2 diabetics, they consume a lot of polyunsaturated fats from processed oils. So if you can take those out of your diet, that's going to really help improve your insulin sensitivity and your overall hormonal health. All right, now third on the list is to follow a simple exercise regimen, especially something that's going to help improve your hormonal health. What's an example of that? So an example of that would be uh, lifting weights two or three times a week. That's all you really need to do, uh, especially if you are doing progressive overload. You're increasing the amount lifted during each session. Uh, you're going to get a really good stimulus and your body's going to upregulate the right hormones and downregulate your stress hormones. Also, walking daily is something that I always tell people to do because it's so good for you and, and it's so easy to do nowadays, especially with the inventions of uh, something like a treadmill desk or even just on a lunch break, you can go out and go for a 30 minute walk. It's actually something that we do at the Truth Nutra office. We have lunch break walks where the entire office tends to go out for 30 to 60 minute walk during the middle of the day. And it actually helps really break up the, break up the day uh, so it's not as monotonous, but also it gets, gets the juices flowing. It gets you thinking, you're talking, you're getting some good exercise with friends, it gets the blood flowing, uh, but it's also going to help increase your insulin sensitivity and also help burn some extra calories every day that will also suppress your appetite. You find that walking is a rejuvenative exercise instead of one that will stimulate more appetite, like more steady state cardio. Walking is low intensity and very rejuvenative for your system. Now, fourth on the list is to supplement with a couple of things Things. There are some substances out there that will definitely help quickly improve your blood sugar situation by improving your insulin sensitivity. And these are berberine, uh, Ceylon cinnamon, chromium, apple cider vinegar is another one, taurine, and even aspirin can help too. So what, what's the easiest way to get all of these? The, the most effective dose of these things is actually, this was a question that, that I wanted to help solve initially when we formulated our Truth Nutraceutical supplement, Sensalin. Now, Sensalin is designed specifically to help you stop blood sugar crashes, and we have a lot of good testimonials from people where it does just that. So, the, the main ingredients in Sensalin are berberine, Ceylon cinnamon, and chromium, and they're in the clinically effective dosages that have been shown in human research to actually help improve these symptoms and increase insulin sensitivity reliably and safely. Now, these are all natural products, the ingredients are all completely natural. They're sourced inside the US. Uh, we run everything through good manufacturing practices and third party lab testing to ensure that everything is actually in here. You have a lot of problems when, when supplement companies use sourcing from outside the US. Uh, there's a lot of extra heavy metals and everything in the, the supplements. Uh, we actually do testing for heavy metals too. There are no heavy metals in any of our, our supplements. And Sensalin is specifically designed to be taken before meals. So you would take a serving of Sensalin before a meal, and what it's gonna do, it's, gonna, it's going to blunt your appetite. It's also going to uh, help control 
the insulin spike and increase your sensitivity to the, to the insulin that your body's producing already. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna lower your insulin resistance and what you're tangibly gonna feel from that is the fact that you don't have these blood sugar swings anymore. They're gonna go away. So you're gonna have this nice, calm, cool, you know, steady state throughout the day where you're not feeling like you're controlled by food. You don't feel like you have that crazy anxiety around uh, having to eat right now. Uh, and it's actually very liberating, it's very freeing to feel that way, to, to not feel controlled by food, but to feel in control of your food intake, of your diet. That goes a really long way for helping lose fat as well. So if you want to learn more about Senselin, just click through. Uh, there's a button on this page. You can just click through to the next page and we have a lot more info for you over there. Thanks for watching.